Hello Capricorns. I am Cosmic Mermaid Tarot. If you're new, welcome. If not, what's up? Let's do this. Um, okay, look. If you're not new, you know that I've deleted a few of my videos, okay? I'm an overthinker. I'm a Capricorn. Shit happens. Um, I just, you know, I end up seeing that, you know, maybe I, I post a little bit too much personal things and then I just, I overthink it even though I related to a bunch of people. But then when I talk a lot at the first part of my videos, you know, we get half the views, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to start, I guess, what I'll call the two videos over. And here we go. We're going to do this. And if you hear a noise, my cat's freaking out and she's trying to attack the wall. Um, <clears throat> okay. One lady in my comments on the one video, if you remember the video, I did this entire rainbow deck. We're going to do it again, I guess. Um, but we're going to see, okay, we're going to make sure there's no past people. Because someone in my comments said something a few days ago and was like, <clears throat> oh, always a past person showing up in our readings, huh? And yes, that's true, but I always see new people too. Yeah, so I can't help with the cards freaking deal for you people. So here we go. But we'll make sure though, I'll explain it right now. If we have swords that come out or we have cups that are sadness or anxiety, okay? They're not going to be about anything from like a past person. We're not bringing anyone from our past into this. We're looking into the future. We're done. And any kings or queens that come out or, you know, knights or princesses or whatever you want to call it or pages, these are all new people. Okay, let's start shuffling. Honestly, that should be my freaking theme. Okay, two of cups is going to be our theme. Okay, that's fucking there. And we're looking into the future of like, who is going to literally be your soulmate? Like, who is a match here? Who is a future person? Who are future potential people that are supposed to be in your life? Friendships, um, companions, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Whatever your preference, okay? Whatever your preference. Okay, there's two jumpers already and one that flipped over. What are you, beesh? Nice, nice, nice. We have people already jumping out. Yes, yes. I'm loving it so far. Okay, so guys, as we see, we have a Knight of Pentacles. So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Someone has been very slow and steady to come towards you, Capricorns. But I'm thinking that at this point, they're not being held back any longer. They've had a completion. They've had a change. They know now maybe that you're the one. So I'm going to say it. Very, very good soulmate energy. I mean, for you to have another earth sign, a Taurus is a great match for a Capricorn. They're just as serious. No offense. You both can be very moody. <laughs> um, and you know, if it's a Virgo, balance. And if it's another Capricorn, same thing. Taurus and Capricorns are like the same thing. Uh, that's what I have to say about it. Okay. So we've got Next card, your person's energy here, the Four of Pentacles. See, that's the completion here. They probably couldn't let this go. And I think they were kind of like being way too held back, way too cautious. All right. So they were very slow and steady. Maybe <clears throat> completely too, it, it wasn't even slow and steady. It was a hard pass. It was a no, unfortunately. Like maybe when they saw you, they knew and they hurried up and were scared of love immediately. Okay. I think this person just eventually couldn't take how much was going on on the pole towards you, Capricorns, uh, male or female. Now, remember, this can be your princess, okay? She's totally coming in. I mean, or your prince. Take what resonates. And um, they have definitely, you know, thought long and hard, I would say, about this because the Knight of Pentacles isn't someone that jumps into a relationship or just jumps into bed with someone. Nope. They have to make sure that you're the one, that they have, that they know every single fact about you, and if it's going to be a long-term thing or not, or they will absolutely not come in and waste their time. Spirit's like, go light the candle, go light the candle. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Love you. Yes, I'm going to go do that right now. I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Uh, give me a candle. Give me a candle. Okay. And it's pink and magenta for love. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yes, it is, bish. Spirit be with us. Thank you. Okay. Answers and guidance. All right. Here we go. I love when spirits like, light the candle, light the candle. <laughs> okay. It's like the universe having a sense of humor, okay? And it's just in your intuition. You'll never understand unless you understand. Okay. <laughs> Let's get more jumpas. Yeah, two of them. Two of them. Let me see. Yes. Okay, look. Are you ready for this? There is a brand new beginning. A brand new beginning. Fiery. Passionate. Hot stuff. <laughs> So, um, yeah, someone's definitely like, oh, I can't take it no more. My skin's on fire. I'm burning up for Capricorn. I gotta go. My hooves are burning, baby. They're burning because I'm not moving. I'm on the hot, hot sand. <laughs> okay, their, their hooves were burning. Let's just put it that way. Okay, male or female. <clears throat> and, okay, world card for horoscopes, okay? For, it, it's just basically all the elements, okay? Let's just say like it is, or it's all fixed signs. We have, you know, Earth energy on that card. So, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have Sag, Leo, Aries. A fiery new beginning. A huge major arcana. Um, but totally passionate. Creative. Sexy. Hot. Whoa. <laughs> we lit the candle for a reason, bitch. <laughs> oh, I love this, though. Okay, it's just, it's explaining, okay, Capricorns, either you, okay, I'm going to flip it both ways because I feel both energies. Um, you may have been refusing all the cups of love that have been coming in for you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Four of Cups card. This is where you've been bored with your options or, or love's just been dissatisfying, dis fucking pointing Um, and now you have this beautiful new offer coming in, goats. Yes, it is. There it is. There's that ace. It's like a little cup of love, you know. Magic wand. Let me just sprinkle my dust. Doot, doot. Okay, and now you have love. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I have no idea what's gotten into me. I did not have coffee. I promise. <laughs> okay. Now let me flip the energy to your person. Your person was afraid you would refuse their offer. So they did not come in and they've been sitting in like, I'm going to say in a puddle of mud <clears throat> and they have not been happy. They're, they're not in their feelings good or well. They're not doing great. They've been honestly hurting their self and self-sabotaging the situation because they do truly have feelings for you. I said there's a pull. There's a big pull. When you have passion, that's the pull. That's the magnetic attraction. This is attraction all by itself. It's fire energy. Hello. Um, now I don't like, look, I definitely think that there is love now. I wouldn't have said that until that card came out. And we have, you know, finally some Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It's coming right after that. It's it's not just somebody wants some some booty, some booty cheeks. No, they want more than that from you. <laughs> they want to love you, okay? Um, look at the bottom of the deck. I'm so glad, okay? We're going to take it. We're going to go from the bottom. Y'all ready, okay? And, oh, I think it's a beautiful thing. We're going to go. 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 Ah! Okay. You ready for this? For the person that's like, can't take their shit? Okay. So we have a few energies showing up for future options here. Now we do have, again, confirmation. It's an earth sign though, coming in to give you a stable offer, but they do want to come in slow, not pressure you. And I think they're still like in that slow and steady because they're an earth sign. Um, Look, I'm not going to sit here and joke like you're going to have this water sign come in and they're going to sweep you off your feet. Okay, there may be like a romantic earth sign, but we're very serious. They're very serious. Um, I think they're coming in ready to be financially stable with someone. So this person's, they may be, you know, I'm not going to lie and say that they won't spend their money on you. I think that's like the type of energy you'll, you'll find with this person. Maybe they, they sort of only know how to, to, how do I want to say it? Show love with material things, not more or less their emotions. Okay. They're an earth sign. I'm going to say it like it is. I'm an earth sign. Okay. But they are going to come in with a gift, an offer, a date, flowers, whatever this is. Um, It could be a freaking gift card. It could be a gas card. I mean, whatever. I don't even know why that's coming through like that. This is super weird. Um, Again, though, this is confirmation. It's your person. It's an earth sign. They're going to come in, though, still slow and steady to win the race. Um, They're going to come off like, hey, let's just go on a date. 
not jump really quick into it. <clears throat> um, I think, though, that once you guys start talking with this communication with this Ace of Wands, that the passion is just going to be there. You guys are just going to end up having a great time, which is, I don't even know how that came out, but <clears throat> I think that during the date or during this encounter with your, your new potential person, this is over top of also clarifying the world card, which is a completion. I believe your person's done the work and done the healing and, you know, they thought this through. And you're their wish fulfillment, Capricorn. Not going to sit here and play. We have Aquarius energy. We have the star card energy. I believe that there's been a lot of healing in this situation. There's a, a lot of love that they now have to give to you. Like they poured enough into their self. They're ready to pour into somebody else. Financially and emotionally. That's an amazing person. Okay. Now, <clears throat> who else could potentially be a future lover? A queen of wands. Now flip it where it needs to go. If it needs to be a king and a princess or, or you know, the princess of pentacles and the king of wands, flip it where it needs to go. I'm just getting this person is very, very sexy. Okay. Very sexy. And this could be you also Capricorns, you know, <clears throat> it could truly be your energy too, Capricorn. Um, kind of more feeling like it's yours now that I see what's going on here. Okay. Potentially, it could be a, a Sag Leo Aries. Yes. But if you look at how it is right here, you can see that it's over top of this earth sign that's holding on to you with the Four of Pentacles. Hold on. Let me just cover her. Okay. And um, with this Ace of Wands being behind it, they're very attracted to you. I told you. You have charisma. You have that stamina. You have that that sexiness to you, that freaking stiletto look or that tuxedo look. I don't know how to say it, but looking good, looking fresh, always. And they're definitely coming in for your goats, okay? <clears throat> I believe, okay, 12-12, twin flame energy. No joke, we saw 12-12, yes, okay, look. Definitely could be a soulmate. I'm not going to say that I'm getting fire energy here. And anyway, I'm getting sexy. I'm getting attractive. I'm getting creative. I'm getting somebody that's had a glow up. I'm going to say maybe you did some healing too with this um, with this um, Aquarius card, okay? You've done some healing yourself, Capricorns, you know, and you're attracting. What happens when everyone is in a high vibrational state? They attract. And look at the confirmation as I say you're, you were healing or you have healed too. Yes, you have. I said that, you know, I'm going to read your energy if it comes off of the card and their energy, okay? So it came off of that four of cups for both of you. <clears throat> this is literally clarifying now that Capricorns, you did have to get grounded and balanced in your own life and in, and get yourself back together too. I think that this is why you were turning down love for a long time. Obviously, this is going to be probably for a singles reading. Unless, you know, you're ready to break up with your person and one of these people are your future options, then that's the only way I'm going to put it. Okay, <laughs> let's be real. Um, please Capricorns don't take any rebounds. <laughs> All right. So anyway, Yuns are sexy and I know it. And, <laughs> and you have been so, you're doing so much better Capricorns. You're very balanced out. I think you're divinely protected by a bunch of archangels by the wings here. The rainbows are on the wings and they're not on and out here. I have no rainbows here. Uh, when I look through my phone on the camera, the rainbows are on it. Um, so Sagittarius energy, again, more fire energy. Maybe you just really had it in you goats to get better, to, to, to just do it for yourself, to get in a, in a better mood, in a better vibration, to have a better freaking life, a better time. We're only here for what feels like forever, but really is a short while. Okay. <clears throat> once time passes us by, we're like, wow, how did time pass us by? And once we're in the moment, we're like, geez, oh man, time is dragging. You know, I'm right. Okay. So right here, I'm going to say it. I told you someone was manifesting you. It's real. The pyramid never lies. The pyramid never lies. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes. The magician is literally over top of the page of pentacles and the star card energy. Someone has been wishing for you. I said it. Star card. Wish fulfillment. Healing. They love you. They want you. They have all of the tools, wisdom, and guidance to literally come forward and be like, look, I want infinite abundance with you. You're the one for me. <clears throat> Did I say Gemini Virgo is what magician card? Okay. 
<clears throat> oh, someone's getting in their car coming in. I'm now going to miss my readings because, dude, oh, that is so disappointing, man. When I delete my readings because I was overthinking. 555, five, five, there's a message for me on the damn TV. I need to change. Um, so, since I don't have that video up anymore, we can just throw in that song, Fast Car. So, someone has a fast car, and they got a ticket to anywhere, and they're coming in for you Capricorns to take you with them, okay? <clears throat> Chariot card energy is someone has finally chosen, like, to take the action. They're coming to pick you up, Capricorn. They're coming in. Full speed. Oh, man. I have to let it go. And I have to release it to let it go. It will consume me. I will be, oh, I will beat myself up because I freaking sang in them videos, man. Downloads came out. Three songs during the one video. Oh, I can't take it. Okay, I'm just going to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <clears throat> okay. Look at this. Here we go with the reveal. Moon card Pisces energy. So what are they coming in to do? Okay, first of all, chariot card energy. You are their wish fulfillment. You are the sexy. The V's matter. The V's matter. Venus, love. I'm coming in for you. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I'm just going to say it. The queen of wands is like the empress. She sits and she attracts because she's done enough. She's done enough on the planet where she's had enough. She wants to attract now. Or he just had enough of the shit show offers and giving to all the wrong people. Moon card energy, your person finally is going to come in and tell you how they feel. They're going to reveal their feelings. Pisces energy, this is where they overcome their fears and tell you that you're definitely a potential offer. And all I can say is to reveal what they're going to say to you is that you may be a very balanced match for them in temperance energy and that you are very attractive and that they are very passionately drawn to you. Um, I'm, and they're not going to say, you know, love right away, of course, but they are definitely coming in to tell you, you are hot stuff. <laughs> that they cannot stop thinking about you, that you're on their mind all day long and they can't take it. Like, there it is. There it is. Juggling their thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to focus on their job and their daily life and their bills. And it's like, holy crap, what did Capricorn do? I put a spell on you and now you're mine. <laughs> you can't stop the things I do. I think that's what they say. Um, anyway, I'm done. I'm done playing. Okay, look, two of pentacles. They just are done. Like... They need you, Capricorn, because it may help them balance their thoughts out at work. Like, they can't be juggling their bills and the thoughts. And they're like, holy crap, do I just need to say something already? And and right here, juggling all this and thinking of it that much, that's what you call manifesting. It's over top of the magician and the chariot card. That's when it's like the vroom, vroom, start that engine, let's go. Because I cannot manifest this any longer. I'm thinking of it so much that I'm accidentally manifesting it. It's on my mind all day at work, all night long when I'm at home. I'm trying to focus on responsibilities and doctor's appointments and doing this and, and, and being a part of, you know, family and friends and life and... All I want to do is start the car and go pick up Capricorn or go tell Capricorn how I feel. And that's what they're doing. They're no longer going to juggle their feelings and finances any longer. They know that there is that H, that infinite abundance with you. Ba bam <laughs> I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. That's the last card that was there. That was the last one so far. We're going we're gonna to get more, don't you worry. But yes. Why are they now charging in and, and revealing their, their feelings and overcoming the fear? Because they know you're their wish fulfillment. You're the happiest option on the planet for them. There is no one else. There is no one else for this person. Guys, I can't believe that it's like one energy, if you want to call it that. There's just one energy. They are set, though, on you. Set. I'm going to definitely have to do another one for future. <laughs> because... I want one that has like a million people coming out. Look, I'm not going to do the whole deck like I did last. I, I just can't. It's so disappointing if I delete the video and overthink it. Okay, moving on. I can't move on. They're so excited and they're so in love. Oh, there's the love. I'm excited. The love has finally shown up. Oh, they've been hiding it well in this reading. 
They've been holding back their feelings. And that is what an earth sign does. Uh, makes sense. <laughs> but boy, is their heart beating. What are you? What are you? Holy shit! <laughs> split man do y'all see the split do y'all see the split <clears throat> oh my goodness <laughs> that ends the period uh, the period oh my god the pyramid see oh i'm done the period of embarrassment holy shit guys i can't i can't i can't even <laughs> the period i'm done yeah the period of freaking toxic shit i'm done i can't It just took a wild turn, did it not? Did it not? I, I can't. God's like, are you going to delete the video? I'm testing you. <laughs> are you going to let your ego win or are you going to let this go? I'm going to let it go because why would I delete the video? It's too good to be true. Ace of Cups. Second major arcana. Second huge new beginning. Somebody wants with you. It is fiery, passionate, loving. Peace. Harmony. Emotional fulfillment. Oh my goodness. And like, oh my. Okay, so anyway. <clears throat> moving on. <laughs> Look, I think that the burdens this person couldn't take anymore. Like I said, responsibility on them right now. It's hard. It's hard. They can't take a step forward or back or they're going to crumble to the ground. Their thoughts are, like, burdening them, consuming them. They're trying to focus on bills, life, responsibility. Not working out. <clears throat> oh, let's just keep going. From the bottom, please. Three of Cups. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, boy, Caps. If that just really took a turn, I don't even know. I said that maybe there's options, but... It was weird that there's only one. <clears throat> I think people are going to cheers to honestly, both of you, to this. You will have loving support for this connection for some reason I'm getting as soon as you close out your past cycles. Ha <laughs> ha, look, I can joke and say the word cycle now, okay? I'm done. I'm a female and me saying the word period got me. Got me good. Got her. I'm done. Oh, it's fucking funny. At least I got a sense of humor today, huh? <clears throat> okay. Moving on. <sighs> so there is, you know, the three of cups. It could mean that you have a lot of options in love, or it can just truly mean that everyone's going to support this, lovingly support what's happening next in your life. Maybe you'll have a lot of loving soulmates, soul sisters, companions, friendships, whatever that means for you. But we have, you know, that's fire energy, Sag Leo Aries, and then Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then we have fire energy again. But just proof, people are going to literally celebrate you guys. Whoever this is, you're going to marry, I think, okay? Let's just say it like it is. You're going to marry this person. 2323 was on there. We're going to have to see what that means. Now, look, we can take this as the 1111 card. You can take this as you're going to have a long-term relationship with somebody because that's what this means. This is long-term or this is moving in together, home, life, marriage. This is the four of wands. This is beautiful. Are you ready for what's next? Now, when I say that people are going to give you guys their blessings, maybe you haven't gotten a lot of support with who you were with in the past from people. I don't know. Or this could be your person's energy. Flip it where it needs to go. <clears throat> the sun card. We have Leo energy. We have this. The biggest major arcana has come out. It is seriously proof. Proof, proof, proof. This person thinks that you are the ultimate happiness. The ultimate. Like, there's that flag. They're like waving that freaking flag. Like, they know you're the one. You give them that childlike energy. That childlike love spark. I don't know how to explain it besides so much happiness, harmony. Beautiful energy coming off of this. Man, I'm getting like landscape. <laughs> landscape like around somebody's home is going to be beautiful. Like 
I mean, y'all are going to be on the porch in your rocking chairs, loving each other for life. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. What do we have as the jumper? <clears throat> there may be another offer, Capricorns. <laughs> oh, goodness. We can keep going. We can. Um, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. At the bottom of the deck, we got a king of wands. There's another offer. Someone's coming in with just a small cup of love, but caution to this tale. Um, damn. Guys, you're never going to believe it. Look, I don't know how great the, the situation here is, but this person is feeling your absence very, very bad. Um, okay, let's jump into the second part here, okay? We can do it. We can jump into the second energy. Capricorns, the first potential future partner here that you may have is an earth sign. And they would like that much with you, that much happiness. They have three wish fulfillments on just the board here for you, okay? There, I don't think there is anyone wishing harder for you, okay? Or gonna go harder on the paint. Is that what we say? Is that how we say it? <laughs> but this person, the energy underneath is shocking to me. And I think this person coming in is going to be shocking for you. <clears throat> Someone is coming in with a cup of love, but remember, a page is a page, and usually it's like a dead fish on the page of cups. I'm going to say it like it is. Someone who just comes in with sweet words has not real love to offer, but I'm going to eat my words if I don't change that because there is a king. The kings are not something to fuck with. They're mature. So this person is going to come in and offer you a date, and I'm going to say it like it is. This person is very attractive. This person is very good looking. Um... Maybe they're very responsible in their life. You know, they have it all together. Um, a very put together person. Um, they pay all their bills ahead of time, on time. They don't let their emotions consume them, is what I'm getting as well. They're very grounded. <clears throat> Sag Leo Aries. Um, so definitely a fire sign coming in with a cup of love. And we have, you know, Scorpio energy, Tower moment, Capricorns. I believe it's going to be a very shocking maybe situation or person. I don't know how that resonates. I think it's just going to be really shocking. Maybe that someone of that stature, that high up, that good looking, however this resonates, it's going to be shocking to you. And if it's just somebody that you never would have expected that you like actually know or met and they come in with love like this, it's going to be shocking. It's going to knock you off your socks. Um, this person definitely is wise, wise beyond you know, their years. I told you this person's responsible. They have Taurus maybe in their chart as well. So there's still some more earth energy showing up. They could have water, fire, and earth in their charts, what I'm getting now. This is Taurus by itself. It's the Hierophant. It's someone who has the wisdom and guidance to know that you are marriage material, Capricorn. So there's not just like one person here that wants you. And <clears throat> this person, like I said, they're very responsible, this one. They're coming in with an offer that is like legacy. They want to offer you the Ten of Pentacles. They know that if they invest in this with you, it's going to be like fruitful and amazing. I don't know. Fruition, maybe. I, I don't know how to put this. Okay. Let's just. Okay. <clears throat> this person is definitely coming in with loving energy. Okay. This is their energy. They're coming in even quicker. Like, Please, I don't just have money to offer you. I have love to offer you. I have a good life to offer you, Capricorns. And I believe that they have a lot of love for you. This person is showing more love right away than, you know, the serious earth sign energy. But yes, this person over here does love you as well. Nine of cups, they're, they're just holding back. <clears throat> but this person, they're not holding back. And it's probably because they're a fire sign or they have fire in their chart and water. People like that definitely take action. They go for it. They go for it. Um, they don't even really think about it. You know, <clears throat> this person was slow and steady to think about coming towards you. Now, with this person coming in with that offer of love and that Ten of Pentacles, sorry, wrong card, <laughs> they're fearing. I pulled from the top if you wanted to know. I'm pulling from the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> they are fearing that you're going to reject their offer. They're worried, like, will I be heartbroken from Capricorn? Are they going to turn me down? Am I going to have to, you know, walk away feeling sad? Feeling, a look at that. Will they have to walk away? 
And I don't think they can do that. I think they're going to come back like for, you know, one and two and three and four and five chances here because there's the, the eight of cups means someone's really going to try to pour love into this before they give up. Look, they see seeds well planted. I told you this is someone who wants to invest in you. So this is now switched over to someone who wants like some serious like investment money lottery put into you. I don't know how to explain this, but they're going to be the most stable offer that you have <clears throat> if you don't turn them down. I mean, Seven of Pentacles is seeds well planted. You could have a really good future with that person. This person thinks about you a plenty. They're dreaming of a life with you. They're dreaming of everything. They're sleeping well, I would assume, because they have these amazing ideas. Like, to, um, I don't know, really creative thoughts on how to have a life with you. Capricorn is what I'm getting. But at the same time, <clears throat> they want to have an end to how they're feeling right now. Like, can I please, you know, get this on the ro road? I need to talk to Capricorn. <clears throat> They're really thinking, like, this could happen. Like, if you turn down their love offer, they're also kind of fearing. I'm, I'm getting they're fearing this a little. They're fearing feeling like shit after already having a completion in their life. Like, are you going to shit, shut them down? Um, <laughs> I said shit. Um, okay, so uh, I'm done. I'm done. I can't talk today. You retrograde. Can you go away? I'm done with you. <laughs> Anyway, there is 1010 on that person's energy. I do see abundance. I see it. But then I see, you know, so much love over here, too. What the sheezy. Okay, so anyway, moving on. Capricorns, just let them down easy if you're going to let them down. Because this person is, like, really fearing what you'll do to them. And how they'll feel. Like, if you regret... Like, if, if you... If you regret... If you refuse this offer... Please, retrograde, stop it! Darn it! <laughs> Alright, so Capricorns, use your intuition. Use your intuition on who you think is the most abundant offer here, I guess, is what I'll say. We can put this up there with that Two of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> uh... Let's shuffle. Let me see. What do we have? Whoa, hello. Oh, it's a you, Capricorn. What can I say? It's a you. King of Pentacles, either you are... Oh, look, all I gotta say is you're in that boss energy. You're gonna sit and wait for the right one, and you're gonna weigh out your options, and male or female, you're either the queen of pentacles or you're the king of pentacles. But you're going to trust your intuition on this, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> look at how this is. This is fucking splitting the deck shit. Like, what? We have the five and the six of uh, pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> someone here does not want to be left out in the cold. And someone here is ready to shower you with finances and gifts and things and... There is such an equal give and take in one of these relationships, but someone also has fear. And we can see who has fear here. <clears throat> this person over here. What's at the top? Queen of Cups, huh? All I gotta say is it's your energy. Literally. What else is at the top? Firm boundaries. Anywho, we're done with the cards. Let's get oracles. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I'm going to use my cosmic oracles and my love deck later. My love decks. But these are still going to give us amazing freaking answers. Okay. They're beautiful. <laughs> I'm done trying to talk right now. Okay. First of all, I'm pissed off because I picked all my nails off. My nails don't look good. I'm mad that I deleted videos and I overthought everything and I had amazing shit going on in them videos. I had songs and downloads that I cannot fucking replace. Like, it's just so disappointing. I hate overthinking and being a Capricorn. But I love it. Okay, so Capricorns, you're definitely in, you know, 
a healing energy, a balanced energy, a nurturing, a loving, and a stable energy. We have without agenda at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if I've ever gotten that card, so I want to read it. All I know is they're smooching. Okay. It says, pure love and everything you have dreamed, holy shit, will happen when you are ready to give love without expecting anything in return. True givers receive. Wait, what? When you are ready to give love without expecting anything in return, true givers receive. Okay, so love without an agenda, Capricorns, is what I'm getting. Don't expect anything from anybody in this situation. Don't expect them to, to have to give to you, to have to treat you some way. Love them because what what's the point of a relationship? It's to fucking love each other. It's not to fucking see what they have to offer. I had to say it with freaking oomph. <laughs> No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Dude, y'all don't even know I'm getting down there and you're going to die laughing if you are a mom or you know the movie. <laughs> and Kanto. And like the masculine sister <laughs> that sings that song under pressure or something. I think it's called pressure. I'm done. If you know, you know. So let's move on. This is so cute. Look at this hammock. I'm going to get jumpers. Don't you worry. Anyway, universe is telling me to do it my way anyway. Uh -um. Yeah. Calm for fucking nation right there. When you want more, don't push yourself or others to get more. Give more of your pure, genuine self and life will immediately and effortly match it. Energy reciprocates energy. I got to read this now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do it your way. I am. <laughs> you were never meant to fit in. You were born to be a wild and free force of nature here to build new and better worlds. Allow yourself to go and do that. Frick yeah. Ah! Ah! About your dreams. Even if you want to be a tarot reader. <laughs> I want to get this one too. And look at me. It just keeps saying amazing things, guys. I got to do it. I got to do it. Okay. I'm only going to take the other three because, because they, they, yeah, they, yes, they, yeses. <laughs> the key. Look at this beautiful earth tree. Oh, all you do with ease and enthusiasm is the path to your goal. Actions are secondary. Make the energy within you your primary focus. Do not underestimate the little joys. You see how joyful I am in the reading today, guys? <laughs> I did it with joy. Okay? I did it my way. Are you ready for what it says? Do what you want. <laughs> And then we have Soul Awakening. Blue, that's some earth energy. Look at the colors. What? Okay, anyway. <clears throat> it says to do what you want. If you react negatively huh, to the success and joy of others. Oh, okay. It's a sign that you want more for yourself. So don't be jealous. I'm going to say it like it is. Don't hold yourself back. Expand your comfort zone. Don't compare yourself, Capricorns. You will fucking just consume yourself. So do what you want. Don't even, don't even react. At all. Not negatively at, at all. Look, it says to the joy of others and success. So if you can't react by giving someone the support and congratulations that they truly deserve because you are jealous and have an ego and things aren't going your way in life, then do not react at all. Because if you react negatively, guess what you're getting? Karma. The candles flicker in like, yep. The, the beautiful one. Okay, the last beautiful one. Okay, that I'm going to just pull from the bottom. Soul awakening. You are quite irresistible when your mind and heart pulse in the same rhythm. Why spend your days fighting yourself? You have better things to do. Love yourself just the way you are. Have soul awakenings. Have fun. Okay, let's see if there's a jumper. Yeah, okay, time to act. There's another jumper. Cross watchers are more than welcome to take the messages. Yes, what a freaking yin yang, man. Two of them flew sideways. It was like ping. Any more, any more, any more? No? Cool, 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 cool. 
At the bottom, there's a beautiful tree that says to make room. I feel like saying vroom, vroom. <laughs> I'm thinking of the chariot card. I don't know. Create space to welcome positive change into your life. Let go of everything that doesn't align with the future you that you are creating. <clears throat> so vroom, sweep that shit. I'm getting a vacuum. <laughs> Make room, release, open some windows. Holy crap. There's energy. You are complete, bish. No matter who you are. <laughs> you are not broken. I love it already because I love my favorite saying is broken and beautiful because that's what I am. I have mental health, but I am still fucking beautiful even though I'm broken. And so is everyone else. If you feel broken, I love you. <laughs> 444, four, four, we're divinely protected. Yes, my goats, dude. I sold that number. <laughs> Thank you, universe. I love you. I'm grateful, thankful, blessed. <laughs> not stressed. Okay, you are not broken. Nothing is wrong with you. Don't spend your life fixing problems. Dwell in the beauty of your being. You are enough now and always. Fuck yes, we have to say it like that. <laughs> Trust your feelings. Trust that intuition, guys. You are unique. Your destiny is waiting for you to write your story and pave your own path. Follow your heart. Don't let others dictate who you should be. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Time to act. Well, there, now I'm getting this maybe your person. They're ready to act, to take action towards you. Okay, I'm getting this. It's not even your energy. This is somebody else's. Okay, whether it's the cross watchers or this potential love people. You can take it too though, Capricorn, okay? You don't have to know everything in advance. Take the first step and watch it all unfold. You can deal with whatever your path reveals. You are ready. Authenticity attracts love, bitch! I'm excited! <laughs> oh, yes. Be Being authentic attracts the right people and repels the wrong ones. When you stay true, you naturally filter out those who don't align with your past. So be authentic, you. Never fucking apologize for it. You are beautiful just the way you fucking are. Ah. Oh. Why are those over there? Those must have been from that freaking reading. Well, I'm going to pull the bottom card because I'm so upset about that reading I lost. It's fucking fine. Capricorns, one of a kind. Capricorns. Cross watchers, whoever wants to take it. Just getting a little snippy, but I'm good. Okay? One of a kind. Authenticity attracts. I'm just saying. It says, from one moment you've emerged into this world... You've had extraordinary talents. Oh, from the moment you have emerged into this world, you've had extraordinary talents. You understand starlight, animal voices, and all things magical. Hell yeah. That's why I fucking sprinkled that fucking stardust on the freaking cards earlier. Did you see me? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I'm excited today. Okay. 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 I got this. We got this. We have timing. Cosmic timing. Yep. Yep. And now let's get some spirits. Okay, thank you. We have rabbits already jumping out. And it says quick results. We had a quick result there. It jumped out quick, did it not? <clears throat> Answers and guidance. Yeah, that's three cards, but we'll see. No, sit. Nope, don't even do it. Don't even come and lay on it. Don't even do it. She's walking around it. She's listening to me. She's walking around the phone. She'll probably come over and lay on the other part. Ready, guys? <laughs> let's see. She's so respectful, though. She's not. Look. Look at her. She won't go on the cards. She knows. She's such a good girl. If I say it's okay, it's okay. You can come on. Come on. It's okay. You can lay on them. I know you like to lay on them. It's okay. Yeah, jump us. Answers, please. Yes. Yes. Scream it for me. Okay. Oh, yeah. The bottom of the deck is oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. What's the timing? What is the timing? It's going to happen here. 
for Capricorns when someone either has a birthday, had gotten feelings, um, is going to take action. I'm going to take one, two, one from the bottom, and one from the middle. And we'll take that one. Okay, done. <clears throat> okay, let me get situated here. We got a lot of messages, but I love the spirit cards. They're beautiful. Hi, hon. Are you laying on me? Are you okay? Do you feel okay today? Yes. Hi, love. Hi, hon. Okay. You can go in front of the camera and grace them with your presence. Go ahead. Good. Are you going to go? I love you. Thank you. Mwah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Look, we don't want them to see that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I shouldn't have to edit the video, honey. Oh, that was funny, though. Oh, shit. Okay, there are so many. Is there any upside down? No, no. Okay. We have chameleon spirit here. And it says many colors. Blend in or stand out as the situation requires to fit the need of that moment. So, in any moment, in any situation in your life... Figure out if you need to blend in or stand out. <clears throat> I think that it was a pretty chameleon, though. Okay, so bear spirit. We have untamed spirit. And it says, allow yourself to run wild and free as you explore your own fierce but gentle nature. I like it. We have jaguar. And it says choices. Glean, I don't know, clean wisdom or clean wisdom, glean wisdom from the past. <clears throat> and fearlessly follow the path that resonates with your soul. Take it how it resonates. We have the gorgeous fire elemental fairy here. Oh my goodness. Ignite the change Capricorns. She's stunning. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Burn away the old and forge a new path to face the world with purpose and determination. We have boar spirit. Warrior or warlord? Warlord. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Gather courage to confront issues that you need to resolve so that you can move forward. Okay. What's, what, what's holding you guys back? Like, what do you resent? What is poking at that ego? What do you want to talk about to somebody? You got to do it. We got crystal spirit. So pretty. It says communicate, express yourself authentically and vulnerably to strengthen your relationships. Anyone that's not for you will fall the fuck off. That's all I got to say. Quick results. Ba bam. How cute is it? And what is a fluffy one? Is a fluffy one. Okay. Move swiftly to realize your dreams and adapt to new situations with grace. <laughs> And then we have two beautiful colors left. Oh, shining bright like a diamond. Shining bright like a diamond. Salamander spirit, bright flame. Hell yeah, man, shine bright like a diamond and not a joke. Look at the illumination on that gecko or salamander, sorry. <laughs> Beesh. Um, okay, even in the darkest times, you have the power to light your inner fire and shine brightly. Oh, come on, man. And you got that fire element card? Take your pick. Now we have fox spirit. I know you're whipping that whippersnapper over there on my cards, girl. It says strategy. Employ the power of your vision and long-term planning to bring your ideas to life. So find strategies. And bring things to life, Capricorn. I just want to, you know, show you your energy, even though we have, you know, a tail in here. <laughs> we have the beautiful lady. She's 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 pointing to to the fact that it's you guys. <laughs> Honey, this little whippersnapper, I love you. <laughs> you see it whipping? Oh, there's that attitude, attitude. We gotta love it, right? Okay. Maybe you guys have one sometimes. And I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You probably do, though. I do. Okay. Anyway, trust your intuition. Soulmates are coming in. Capricorns, you are stable, nurturing, loving, attracting. Maybe you got water in your chart. Now, let's see what the timing is. Something's going to happen next month. Somebody caught feelings for you maybe a long time ago. 
something's going to happen within six months or something could have happened. No, I'm not going to say that's not past energy. That's future. Um, what? Oh, that's the other one that was there. In June, somebody caught feelings for you in June of this summer. Or they could have a birthday in June. Someone can also have a birthday in February or caught feelings for you in February. And something's going to happen within a year. I think you're going to learn something within a year. Something new. I don't know what that is. Whether the storm is what I have to say for this card's energy. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to pull one more just so it's not like ending on a bad freaking note. Okay, things are in the progress now. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. Look at them eyeballs. Okay, so things are in the progress now, Capricorn, or the process now, okay? <clears throat> Alright, I'm ending it. Peace and love, Capricorns. You know what to do. Trust that intuition. 1010 for your person over here and 1212 for here. Later.